2019, the OECD will publish its first Green Growth Policy Review of Indonesia, helping the country unleash its green growth potential and empower sustainable decision-making. Indonesia's economy relies heavily on its vast natural resources. Natural resource-based activities accounted for 22% of value added in 2017. Economic success has, however, come at a high environmental price, with particular pressure arising from the conversion of forested land to agriculture. Land use change impacts forest and peatland ecosystems, undermining carbon sequestration capacity, water access and quality, and catalyzing soil erosion. The rate of biodiversity loss is among the highest in the world, though an estimated 40 million Indonesians rely on biodiversity for their subsistence needs. Biodiversity conservation efforts in the Assay province could generate 108 million US dollars per year by 2038 due to pharmaceutical potential. The National Development Plan 2020-24 mainstreams environmental considerations but is challenged by persistent enforcement weaknesses leading to a gap between policy measures and the situation on the ground. Setting the one map system would scale up land use implementation and compliance and help to address the economic, social and environmental costs of illegal mining activities. Strong reliance on fossil fuels for energy generation sets Indonesia among the largest GHG emitters. In 2017, public expenditure for fossil fuels amounted to 95 trillion Indonesian rupiah. Aligning energy policies with GHG emission reduction targets is essential to tackle the carbon intensity of the energy mix and to achieve the country's green growth objectives. Indonesia has among the world's greatest potential to develop geothermal energy, hydropower, biofuels, tidal, solar and wind power. There are challenges ahead associated with population growth and urbanization. Fossil fuel fiscal burden should be phased out, while infrastructure capacity and service provision should be extended. Inadequate public water supply and sanitation have severe impacts on people's health, which further exacerbates the pollution and scarcity of groundwater resources. Implementing robust policies and efficient water use will be decisive. Upgraded water tariff regulations would further secure public infrastructure investment. The development of a waste bank, representing roughly 3% of the current waste management system, has proven to be an innovative and effective tool engaging municipalities and local communities.